G'day, g'day, it's Charlie and I'm coming to you today from my locals community with your daily dose of business inspiration. Come across and join me at askcharlieleatham.locals.com. You can join the community for free and see the content that I put up for our free subscribers. You can become a supporter for $2 US per month. You'll be able to see the supporter only content that goes up. You'll be able to interact with all the content, add your own comments and thoughts. You'll be able to create your own content within the community as well. Apart from that, you will be helping me to keep creating content like this, like my podcasts or like my tutorials. Now let's get on with today's daily dose of business inspiration. Yesterday, I spoke about the need to uh, build a relationship when you are selling to someone and not just start selling at them. It's going to give you better longevity. Today, I want to talk about the importance of establishing a need before you start selling to someone. Now, I'm actually going to uh, refer back to one of the podcasts I did with Callum Armstrong recently. I'm going to put the video, the link to the video here somewhere. Or well, my editor will anyway. <laughs> uh, and he was talking about the importance of addressing the what's in it for me aspect. And I want to I want to highlight that and and use his his words and his his voice so that you can see it and understand it in a different way. But it's really, really important to address the what's in it for me. And it's the establishing their need that starts that. It's of little utility to walk into someone and there's them saying blah 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 blah. I've got this problem you're going hey here's the answer what was the question you see what I just did here's the answer <laughs> what was the question you don't really know what they're asking you you may not know I'm going to, got to be careful about the absolutes there you may not know what they're asking you may not know entirely what the issue is if any of you have interacted with me in my Facebook groups or even in LinkedIn groups or other groups that we're part of, you'll find that someone will say, I'm having trouble with blah. And one of the few times, one of the things that I try to avoid doing is to say, oh, you need to do this. Here's your answer. What I'll often go back and do is start asking them more questions. Okay, so you said you've got this problem. Is the problem related to, uh, let's say they can't send email, or they, they, email's not working. There we go. Email's not working. Okay, so does that mean you're not sending email? Email's not getting out. Does it mean you're not getting email in? Are you getting some email in? Are you seeing it on webmail? Um, are you having trouble on your phone? Are you having trouble on your computer? Do you see there, there's a, like this whole gamut of things that it could be. And rather than just saying, here, go and look at these articles or here's an article I wrote on how to fix it, I dig down to find out where exactly their problem is. Maybe I can't help them. Maybe the problem is with their provider and they need to go and talk to their provider and I can't help them with that. Well, I can. I can act on their, their behalf as a proxy, but I can't do much more than that. They actually need to talk to their provider. So me trying to help them is going to be a waste of their time. It's going to be a waste of my time. But I can actually say to them by asking the right sorts of questions, hey, listen, I think that's a provider issue. Go and talk to your provider. See if they can help you out. I, if it's the fact that they can't send mail, I know I need to look at a different part of the system to if they can't receive mail. So you've got all these little nuances that you can start to work out and start to establish the need for them. Now, I've used a very specific thing about someone saying they can't send email. I'm sure you've all got examples within your own industries of people who have a need, but they don't quite know what it is or the words they are using doesn't necessarily relate to what the problem ends up being or what the, the solution that you end up providing is because you need to establish what their need actually is. What is it they're trying to do that they can't do? So it's really important when you're selling to establish that need before you start getting into the set, into the actual selling process. And often you'll find that you don't need to get into a high-flown selling process process once you know what their need is because you can say hey listen I've got something for you here it is here's some testimonials from people this is how I would like this is how I'll, I'll work with you to help you and they'll go you know what you've been so helpful so far I just want to deal with you and let's just go do this it happens it really happens it happens to me a lot actually I however am only one person and I would love to hear what 
you guys think about it. Um, it, it is getting the random I am saying I can fix your problem um, helpful is getting the random I am from someone saying, oh, well, this is a real problem and you need to address it useful or is actually someone taking the time to work with you through what your what your problem is what it is that you're trying to achieve working out whether you're a good fit for their business whether their business is a good fit for your business is that useful or am I talking rubbish and you just think that you just need to do something different because I would love to know what your thoughts are leave some comments below come across and join me on locals ask charlieleathan.locals.com to join in the conversation and add your own thoughts to 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 the conversation there what a stutter hey remember to like this video subscribe to my channel ring the notification bell so that you find out when i drop more content please if you can leave a review it does help and if you can share this content with someone who you might find it helpful Thanks, guys, and I'll see you all tomorrow.